You see the input x, it has been multiplied by 3, added to 5, and then it has been divided by 4. That has been giving you the output here for the first function. Now for the opposite function or for the inverse function, what you do is just go opposite, okay? You start with the output because for the inverse function, the output of the first becomes the input. So we are saying if y is the input, now going backward, just oppose the operation. So divided by 4 can be written as times 4 now because that's the opposite of division. And now plus 5 will become minus 5 and then times 3 becomes divided by 3. Very simple. So this gives me the output x thereby you got the answer x equals to the new output for the inverse function will be 4y minus 5 upon 3 note that the standard output is always y and the input is always x so we just do one step that is we swap x and y in instead of each other so it becomes the final output for this function is 4 times the input minus 5 divided by 3